Okay, so right here we're gonna talk about the hollow body exercise for your core, all right? So what we're gonna do is this kind of pertains to any exercise you're doing for your core where you're on your back. So you'll notice one thing that your abs do is they protect your lower back, right? So if you flex your abs and you bring your shoulders up and your core is flexing, you'll notice that your lower back is pressed against the floor. And if you relax back and your abs are stretching, you get this big arch in your lower back, okay? So when we're doing any core exercise on the ground, if you want to be working your abs, you want to make sure that your lower back is pressing against the floor because that's one indicator that your abs are really working, okay? So you're going to be right here, and then this is the easiest spot to start, right? So you're right here, shoulders are up, abs are engaged, back is pressed against the floor. This is the easiest variation of this exercise, the hollow body. Now it gets harder as you drop your legs down, the more challenging it becomes. But the whole goal is, the entire time, that lower back should be in contact with the floor. So I want you guys to start right here, and you can do some flutters from here, but again, always make sure you're maintaining that low back against the floor, and then you can relax, take a break. But what I want you to do is eventually keep lowering your legs, not the first day, but as you become stronger, and eventually you'll be able to hold your legs out nice and straight. But the problem is you see people in the gym holding their legs out straight, but they got this big arch in their lower back. And that's not only dangerous for their lower back, but they're not even working their core the way they think they are.